So here is my big circle and I have this whole picture for circle R. So BC is the diameter. Um, the other things that I have, I point G here in the exterior and I made a little note that BG and GE, oh, whoops, BG and, sorry, GE are um, tangent. Okay, so the, all the angles that I want to find, let's start with some inscribed angles. B, A, C. B, A, C is an inscribed angle because the vertex is on the circle. And if I kind of figure where its two sides are going, this is the intercepted arc. The intercepted arc is a semicircle because this is a diameter, 120 plus 60, that's 180 degrees. So I'm going to take that 180 and divide it by 2, and the measure of this angle is 90 degrees. Measure of angle B, whoops, you know what we have to do, Robert? We have to fix this because there are a couple of Bs. Let's say CBA, CBA. Measure of angle CBA. Okay, so the measure of angle CBA is over here. And if I kind of cut this way and I cut this way, this is its intercepted arc, and that's 130 and 20 together. So that's 150 divided by 2, and that's 75 degrees. Angle C is over here, and if I trace its sides, 30 is its intercepted arc and 30 divided by 2 is 15. And I chose these three purposely because they make a triangle, and then my quick double check is to make sure that 90 plus 75 plus 15, when I add them up, they equal 180 like a triangle, and they do, so I know I got it right. Central angle. So a central angle has its vertex at the center. Here it is at R, so ARB. ARB has an intercepted arc of 30, and these guys are the same, the central angle and the intercepted arc. So I know that guy there is 30 degrees. Okay, vertical angles. So our vertical angles are going to be formed by these two sides here. Maybe I'll draw them in purple. So here's my one side or one segment, and here's the other segment. Whoops, sorry. I should have used a ruler. And they crisscross here at point F. So the two angles that I'm going to find are EFB, which is this guy here, and CFD, and that's this guy down here. They're vertical angles and they're the same. And the way that we find them is we find, if I trace here, it goes from E to B, and that's 120. And then over here, if I trace, it goes from C to D, and that's 20. I'm gonna add those two angles and divide by 2, so that's 140 divided by 2, 70. And we said they are the same, so yes, both of these guys are equal to 70 degrees. Our last one is an exterior angle up here at angle G. So here's angle G all the way up here, and it's tangent. So I know that this segment cuts over here at B. This segment kind of intersects the circle over here at E, and it splits the circle into two arcs. I have this smaller inside arc here at 120, which is 120 degrees, and then the rest of it is my larger arc. And the rest of it I'm going to find by adding up all of these little guys. So that's going to be 160, 70, 80, uh, 180, and this is 240. So that whole big outside is 240 degrees. And the formula to find this exterior angle is the large outside arc minus the inside arc divided by 2, and it's going to look like 240 minus 120 divided by 2, which is 120 divided by 2, and angle G is 60 degrees.